See, I got an aluminium foil in my hand. You and others have probably wondered what I'm not doing with an aluminium foil in my head. Am I gonna go into the oven? Am I gonna go cook myself? Or am I just trying to look good with my shiny hat? Probably seen on pictures, paranoid, schizophrenic, government agencies, or in the walls. <laughs> they can even be in the glass bottle you drink from. They got cameras in the glass bottle they want to see inside your mouth, because you can be hiding something inside your mouth. probably seen on a lot of pictures, uh, especially from people working in computer digital fields of uh, rendering movies or working in environments where there's a lot of computer activity. You got a lot of processors, a lot of electro electromagnetic currents flowing through. So you, you, you put on these because of the radiation from all the different machines and devices. Some people even wear a pendant um, which contracts and gathers the electromagnetism in the air. I don't think that's a good idea because you can blow up. Think about it. It's contracting it. Any, anything that goes inside something, it also has to go outside something. You can't just have a cup and from this cup it's just going to come out endless water and you can drink endless water from a cup the water has to come from somewhere for it to go out somewhere so those pendants doesn't sound like a cool idea <sighs> these things actually do if you know the difference between uh, high voltage electromagnetism and radio waves sound waves uh, information module waves packed in small tiny waves the difference between those two is simply said if you put this aluminium foil in the you know those things stick contact <laughs> too many languages in my head the plug electric plug in the wall if you stick this while you hold it, you're gonna get a big flow of energy and roast you and toast your head. Just like if you do that like Benjamin Franklin did when he experimented with his kite, he, he, he put some aluminum foil on the line of his kite and went all the way up. And the lightning from the thunderstorm hit it. Cause high voltage flows currents is attracted by aluminium or steel. Anything that has uh, metal in it. This has light weight metals in it. So it attracts it. And it works as a conductor. It means it's a cable, in a way. Radio waves on the other side, because of the low current, not high voltage, it's not so much voltage, but it is. When you look at the cell phone towers and the cell phone mobile mast, you see there's a big cable like this on each of them but I haven't tried I'm gonna go try I'm gonna go stand next to it I'm gonna climb up somewhere I know if there's a place near where I stay uh, you can actually if somebody sit on your shoulder the person can put his hand on in front of it 
like from a meter distance, you can see if there's, you can feel if there's any uh, heat. If it was, you would think like on winter days, like we have in Norway, you could see some heat evaporate. You could see some smoke, like uh, on uh, cold days. But it doesn't. So basically, it says low current. So what this does reflects. It hits it and it just bounces back. So if you want to use uh, these to protect you from Wi-Fi, cell phone towers nearby, because you can, you can hear it. You know, people are going crazy these days. You, you, all of a sudden, you can hear somebody scream in the city. It's not because of it. It's like, ah, can't take it anymore. Ah. It's because of the. The mind is being kept busy with this small tone in the background, in, in the back of your head. It's not funny, man. You shouldn't even laugh. You you feel like you just want to go jump out the fucking window. These things are annoying to a certain degree that people might take suicide. You can't live like this. And they go tell the doctor they have these problems and they just say the tinnitus. Tinnitus, 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 tinnitus. They just tell it to everybody. They're not interested in knowing the sources of it. Why? Why? We have an epidemic all of a sudden, like all the people in the world are just having tinnitus. It's just what? I don't think everybody out there goes to concerts and stands a meter from those five meter tall. Uh, subwoofers each weekend and listen to a house of pain jump jump around jump 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 around nah people who don't even go to concerts or don't even put uh, headphones on their head they're having these same phenomena they're, they're experiencing the same type of difficulties abnormalities it's not normal people used to Remember, before these things came, I'm 28 years old, and even the birds right now, it's 4 o'clock in the night, the birds agree, man, they can't even sleep, nobody can sleep, it's 4 o'clock, nobody can sleep because of this shit, so who's profiting, hey birdie, doctors, and the government, because it tax the doctors a lot, and on the other side, the other benefits, you're preoccupied with trying to just You can't spend all day doing that. Eventually, you're shield will, f <laughs> will deteriorate you gotta go back like every 10 minutes and create another shield 20 seconds I got a lot of other things to do you know that's what the government don't want me to do they want me to be preoccupied with thinking about surveillance and several different things about yeah we are being watched like Snowman says on television they're watching your private SMS they're watching your uh, phone calls they're watching your emails what you google if I'm gonna think about all that the government won because then I stopped thinking that's the that's their goal so I don't give a shit about surveillance or anything but, but this thing affects my health any wise man he knows he needs his health to succeed in this world to have a live a prosperly happy full life you can't just be like this like somebody's hammering an ice pick in your head but you don't see no blood. You start thinking, hmm, I have some problems. You start blaming yourself. Like, what's wrong with me? I don't feel so good today. I'm angry all the time. I'm short uh, tempered. I blow off too easy. I get angry too fast. It's external, it's not you. 
don't put all the blame on yourself. We're living in an age of technology, super supersonic speed. We have just went from, you know, let's keep it on a need to know basis. Have evolved fast. I remember antennas on our television sets. You remember those days? Uh, we used to think that if we put uh, aluminum foil on the top tip of it, we could extend the antenna so we could get better reception. Because <laughs> the thing is, with uh, antennas, um, within the, the steel frame, they could use anything. They could even use wood or plastic. The steel, you know, you pull it out, comes tall. It's only there to keep the cable within stretched out and to keep it in the air. High, the higher, the better. The better reception. And in the cable, uh, inside, there's a metal wire. And you only need the tip of the cable exposed for you to get uh, the because it's everywhere when they have these antennas it's like uh, <sighs> basically like the sun it, it even goes through walls you know but <laughs> it doesn't go through aluminium foil <laughs> People were so idiots. They thought that would work. It didn't give them anything. Because that tiny on the top, you know, there's a round shape. You always used to pull. You put your fingers around it. And then you pull it outside. Uh, there's a hole in it. If you noticed, I, I haven't seen one of those for ages. But I still remember. Thank God, because we need this knowledge today. And... When you put that aluminum foil on top of it, you're actually blocking the signal from entering that tip of the cable, which is free from rubber band. You know, the, the copper? No, copper is soft. The, the, but uh, okay, the, the, the rubber, it's rubber. Because rubber ground stuff. So it blocks the signal, and the TV reception wasn't good. Uh, it was the wind. Some days you had bad reception on your TV because uh, of weather conditions. And that tells you something right there. That tells you something right there. <sighs> that even though the TV signal from the TV antenna station, you have these big stations on it, usually they mount them on top of hilltops. Even though they, they can go through walls, they can go through me, my Timberland steel top toe, but the wind, you can't mess with the wind, man. You can't mess with the wind. <laughs> it's solid, hard. You can even throw a rock at the wind, and it's going to hit it right back in your face. <laughs> the wind was uh, the main cause, the perpetrator of the bad reception on the TV so what I'm trying to say is use as it is right now before the government I mean the people wake up they already awake they can't sleep uh, what am I what am I saying you know this is, this is, this is. but the people who pretend to be sleep wake up you can easily wake up a man that is sleep but one who pretends to be sleep he's not gonna wake up <sighs> so until we get there until we help we some people say God willing inshallah some people even think that if Alexander the Great wins a great battle against Persia then he goes next to India and Egypt he conquers that too you know, every time he did that, he came, started first with the name of, in the name of God, He who grants us victory or defeat, He who has granted me victory, He who is the Lord of fate, and I am His shadow, because I won, 
must mean God wanted it. Nah, man, you could have been in it. You could be, believe that. You, you might be some bad place on a bad planet out there in the universe. If you talk like that. Because, uh, just because you win up, do some evil and get away with it. Because God didn't step in from the clouds and stop you doesn't mean he is on your side, idiot. Now what I was trying to tell you, it was about this, until we help we. And uh, go demonstrate, protest. You say like, do you seriously want to trade your, you want to exchange, you want to swap for a cell phone? To have, to sit on the bus and watch YouTube? You want to trade your life for that? You can get cancer, not enough with cancer, but before you get there, you have this zim zim zim. You have headaches? Can't you wait till you get home? Watch, watch that shit when you get home on your cable internet. So meanwhile, we're gonna use these uh, aluminum foils, but there, there's something you need to know about aluminum foils. They react with salt. It dissolves some small particles of aluminum when it comes in contact with salt. So what you should not do when you put aluminum foil on your head, this is very serious, you can have some heat trapped inside this hat. If you start to sweat, your sweat contains salt. If it comes in contact with this, eventually, during the night when you sleep with it, feel good to sleep with it, it will leak tiny, tiny pieces. And that's enough. Micro, micro, micro is enough to catch on. That particle, aluminum particle, might catch on one of your receptors. Another particle will catch on one of your other receptors. Slowly, over, over, over a certain amount of time, over a certain amount of length, more and more of it, if you allow it to get accumulated, it will eventually make you go like, hey, uh, what you just said, what time is it? You look at the watch and you ask yourself, what time is it? Alzheimer. So if you want to make a hat, please, for your own sake, and for mine, because I need you to need me, because I need you. Uh, you you need him, and him need her, and us need us, and I need them, and them need me. Because we're in this world together. So, put up a sheet thick enough to absorb and trap the sweat. Keep it as a layer. And on top of it, you don't want to walk outside with aluminium foil outside, you know, but that would be a good political statement. But, you know, it's, the police might say you're crazy. They want, they, they catch you for anything these days, you know. You, you didn't tie your shoelaces right. You're trying to kill somebody. You're going to go to jail for that. You're going to slip and fall in front of a car. And then we got to have insurance companies paying out for your... Come on, man, don't even go there. So back to aluminum foils. Another thing I want to tell you, too, about aluminum foils. Before you put on a hat, you have to know your circumstances. You have to know where the locations of the antennas are. If you, for instance, you have a neighbor, if you live in an apartment, 10 story or two four, four story you got neighbors on all sides if if uh, let's say like my back neighbor here he has uh, Wi-Fi the one to the right too and the one to the left but the one in front of me doesn't have it what should I do if I put on this hat and I sleep with my head 
towards him. It's not going to work. What I'm trying to tell you is you need a you need a cage actually to be on the safe side. Uh, it means like if you if you have a, you know those air hockey games, the air hockey you pop pop pop, ting 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 ting. It's the same with uh, ref, uh, microwaves reflecting aluminium. It bounces back off. So if 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 you have like. Uh, I don't know how you're gonna figure it out if you're gonna knock on the neighbor's door and like, hey man, where's your antenna? Where is it located? So I can map like he's over there and he's over there. So okay, uh, I got like, cause even if you if you have this this uh, air hockey table and there's a little hole on top of it, that's enough for some signals coming and then gonna bounce on his <laughs> place. it goes out the same way it came in but it's hard you know it's gonna go a couple of times before it goes out you get my point god bless hope you stay up stay late up but get some sleep too you know but do you don't listen to anybody else if they tell you don't think like this don't think like that don't think like this don't think see you around peace